Here's a concept for you. Uh, for any individual who is engaged in the activity of a game, and you're pretty much always in a game, and so to, as some advice for anybody who is in a game, you're better off to understand the factors involved in that game. If you don't know the rules to the game, you're just not going to be able to play very well. It doesn't matter what your inherent potential is, you could be really smart, really dumb, but if you don't understand the game that you're in, you, your potential will be less. Uh, cryptos, for example, um, stocks, Fed money, the whole world is pretty much designed around the motive of taking its actual game and then twisting the motive and and feigning an alternate public relations motive okay so basically whatever whatever the whatever the stated game is or stated like mission purpose for most things it's inverted altered or twisted um, I like to play games usually where it's not like that where um, the stated purpose of the game is precisely in act in 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 reality with what it says it is those are the games that you want to play other games are sneaky where somebody gets fucked over okay but there's a scale for individualism as far as um, you know how how well an individual is probably doing in a game and this is just my own opinion but at the top it would be where an individual can create his own game he'd be doing just fine and he can come up with the rules to some game and uh, invite others creatively to participate in the game and they can do so voluntarily below that it's understanding the existing rules that are already in existence maybe perhaps created by another but now the person is now seeking to you know come in and learn this new game maybe it's a sport maybe it's poker maybe it's uh, you know whatever it is where you understand you actually have an understanding of the actual rules within the game that you would like to enter into so at the top it would be just making your own new game below that it would be truly understanding the rules to a game that is already existing. Below that, it would be trying to understand the rules to the game as it exists. And that in itself is um, sort of a game in itself, is sort of going through this development process where you're step by step getting better, getting smarter, and gaining more knowledge. And uh, it's actually kind of fun to be a student of something and to have a little bit of a mystery and it's sort of like watching a movie and you don't know the end and it's fun and you're sort of it's a game in itself to study and to learn stuff and it's leading up to understanding of a game and then below that is someone who knows that he should try to learn the rules but he's not so he knows he should study but he doesn't this is where most of the people are in the world but even that would be a high, pretty high up dude because the lowest level is just a person who doesn't even know really that there's rules or that they, can, they don't even try. It's someone who's not even trying to learn rules. They're just doing whatever rules tell them to do. And that's where I would say, you know, 80, 90% population is really at. And then you know, a small percentage of the population is incentivized to uh, keep those people in that condition and to prevent them from understanding the rules to the game called life in America, in the world today, all that stuff. So, cool stuff like Bitcoin can start to change that. It won't change it for you, but it can empower individuals to preserve knowledge and to share and play actually a better game through exchange, through transactions, through business, and through economics, which is the game that we're all playing. So that's the power of Bitcoin. It can make us uh, a better game. And if we 
understand the rules though so or if we it could it, it could move us up and we could create new things and create new games that are actually beneficial and more fun to play so tell me what you think <laughs>